to Matt. Uh, love your channel, in brackets probably too much, uh, from Steve. P.S. Thanks for lot. Hello, welcome to another bulking and bodybuilding and OMG. Uh, today is the day before my competition, so I'm literally competing in 24 hours. Um, pretty freaking nervous. Now, in terms of uh, this week, I think it's been good. Like, it's the most I've ever eaten in a week in my life. Like, comfortably, I've been every day. I've been literally forcing myself to eat food to make sure I was feeling good for tomorrow. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna gonna be relatively heavy. Um, so, without further ado. Let's find out. So, as is always the case, I am doing this with my foot, which demonstrates the kind of dexterity that I have to offer. I think you'll admit it's pretty impressive. Let's have a look. Okay, there we go. So, I'm pretty pleased with that. I kind of admittedly probably wanted it to be a little bit more, so it's 99.7 kilos, which is, if I give you conversion, uh, 200, basically 220 pounds. So, 220 pounds. Uh, tomorrow, obviously, I'm competing. The category I'm in is 105 kilos, which is 231 pounds. So, Obviously, I'm going to eat a lot of food today, like a lot of food. Uh, I didn't go too crazy yesterday because I didn't want to risk, you know, obviously I'm still quite far from the limit, but I didn't want to risk coming in too close. So it means today now I can eat a lot of food. Um, I'll probably still be comfortably within that, but it gives me more breathing space today. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of the week, it's been really good. Like it's been a strange one. Obviously, I haven't trained anywhere near as much as I would have done normally because I've been resting up. So I trained the first few days, just like deload sessions, and then I've literally, today's Saturday, and I've had Thursday, Friday, to, and today is complete rest day, so tomorrow I should be feeling obviously really, really good, that's the plan. Uh, yeah, so in terms of the week, um, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I mean, training-wise, it was decent, but it was obviously very light. Food-wise, it was pretty exciting. So what I'll do now, as I always do, is show you some of the highlights of my week in terms of bodybuilding, and of course, Food. And we're in. So this is a back and bicep bodybuilding workout I did earlier in the week. This is the last kind of bodybuilding type work I did um, in the lead up to the competition because obviously I wanted to give myself uh, some recovery time. Uh, now, I started the session with, as you can see there, some bent over dumbbell rows. Now, uh, for a long time, I've been a bit kind of lazy with bodybuilding stuff because obviously I, by, uh, by the time I get to it, I've done my heavy compound movements um, and I'm generally tired and so I tend to do stuff on the machine weights like for back I'll go into that room with all the back uh, kind of pull machines that you'll see in a minute um, but I thought today I'd kind of mix it up and just do some more kind of free weight stuff so here I did uh, four sets of kind of 10 to 12 obviously on each side just alternating uh, relatively long recoveries that was my last set and just trying to go fairly heavy the last set was a drop set but the previous three were fairly heavy uh, with relatively decent recoveries and then I moved into, like I said, the pool room, and here I'm doing some um, unilateral uh, lat pull downs. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, back exercise. When I do them unilaterally, like one side at a time, I can feel a massive amount of, of lat and just general back engagement. It feels really, really good. I think, I don't know if it's just kind of in my mind or it's actually happening, but obviously because I'm doing one side at a time, you can just kind of really focus on the muscles on that side of your back and just really try and isolate and engage them. Um, and you can see there, all kinds of back engagement. So here uh, I did three sets, kind of 12 to 14, slightly higher rep range. Uh, again, just getting all kinds of uh, back fatigue there. Moved on to some uh, flat seated rows. Again, this is another favorite of mine. I mean, to be fair, all of the machines, all of the pull machines in this room are freaking awesome. I really, really like them. I'm very lucky to have access to these. Um, and here, I, did, I think I did like five sets here, five sets of kind of eight to 10, fairly heavy, relatively short recovery with the last two sets as drop sets. Um, and then, uh, in terms of back, I finished up with some reverse flies. Now, <clears throat> although this is obviously rear delt, so technically shoulders, I've said it before, I always do these as part of my back workout because I just find otherwise you get a crossover. Like when I do back stuff, a lot of the time I film my rear delts, and so if I do it, you know, rear delts in a shoulder workout, I'm effectively going to overwork them. So I like doing it in my back. Um, and here, I did four sets of a kind of 10 up to about 14 reps, again with the last set being a drop set. 
and then I moved on to the gun show. So here I am doing some uh, alternating uh, dumbbell curls with a little bit of supination. So you see there I'm kind of starting with a hammer grip and then finishing with a regular uh, kind of curl uh, just to get kind of hit both heads of the biceps. Um, and to be fair, these felt pretty good. Again, I haven't done uh, free weight bicep curls for a while, so it felt nice to mix it up and go relatively heavy. I did about four sets of eight to 12, the last set being a drop set. And that, my friends, was that. Just got back from training, did a back and bicep workout, and now it's food time, and I'm pretty freaking excited about this. So, um, I'm very hungry, and this is pretty much best case scenario. We have some potatoes cooking there. Uh, we have some beef haché steak from uh, Muscle Food. It's freaking awesome. It's kind of like a, like a cross between a burger and a steak. Best case scenario, really. Um, and then we have cabbage, which does look remarkably like a giant Brussels sprout. Like, it makes me feel like Maybe I've just uh, shrunk and uh, I'm in like Honey I Shrunk the Kids uh, because that looks like a prop from one of those films, like The Borrowers, for example. Um, and we have some cheese. So the plan is uh, to smush this up, put loads of cheese and then some garlic in it, have like a garlic cheesy mash uh, with the steak. Let's face it, that's going to be freaking awesome. And here we go. So this is the final product. I'm not gonna lie. I am bloody excited. Have a freaking look at that. So we've got the haché steak there. We've got about 15 kilos of mashed potato there, and the cabbage there. Which cabbage is one of my more favourite vegetables because it's quite kind of like it's just quite soft and it's like easy to eat. I don't like when you get really hard like crunchy vegetables. It kind of annoys me. Um. Anyway, so in case you were not paying attention or it's incredibly stupid, this is uh, garlic. Uh, and cheese mash, obviously there's a lot of salt and pepper and stuff in there. Um, there's loads. It's really good, there's freaking loads of that and there's like another, quite a lot more left to go. Uh, obviously that's my protein, that's my carbs. There's obviously a massive amount of carbs there, which is perfect because I am bulking. Also before I go, probably notice these. Don't mind if I do. Um, this is a present from a subscriber, I think. There's a note on the back, actually, I haven't read that yet. Uh, to Matt. Uh, love your channel, in brackets probably too much, uh, from Steve, P.S. Thanks for luck. Anyway, uh, I am very, very hungry. I've left this way too late to eat. Um, obviously, like I said, I am bulking, so I need to get this in me. Probably going to make some more mashed potato, and then almost certainly going to have some cake after that. So, I will do that. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, as always, and I will see you tomorrow.